it's a horrible day today. Well, not really a horrible day, but I mean, like more more the weather is horrible, and I feel horrible. Oh, damn! Just wanna say thank you for yesterday. For yesterday, thank you for the the comments yesterday. I appreciate that. It was it's interesting to read your opinions and thoughts and whatnot. It's also very interesting to see how people get mad about a camera that they don't own. It's fascinating. I don't see the point why, but I guess that's how it is. I'm still not feeling 100. I have a podcast today, so I'm gonna head out to the studio. podcast today together with uh, Nikola Kristich from Filmmakers Instagram page probably have seen him very talented guy it's gonna be super fun to talk with him just gonna set everything up so I can uh, make sure that I have some sort of setup otherwise I'll just use this camera and then rip the audio from the recording take a look over here that <coughs> the good old a7s3 I still have one of them I had two initially but now since I got this camera, I sold one and then kept one. But I haven't used this camera for the last four weeks. So I've basically only been using this camera. I want to talk a little bit about why this channel has been a huge part of my personal growth, but also me as a filmmaker. I'm going to have to rip you up on the big camera. Hang on. Oh, that worked out well. You know, when I started this channel, I didn't really know where to put my vlogs. I was like feeling bad about not getting the same amount of views on my vlogs as I got on the camera related videos on my main channel. But during the course of these, I think I've had this channel now for three or four years, but during the course of these three or four years, what I've learned is so incredibly valuable. And that is editing techniques and storytelling and trying to find the most interesting ways of capturing things. Initially, I went in with this channel as just you know sort of be a little bit like camera style vlogs and then trying to have everything revolve around cameras but I don't want that I didn't want that so it kind of developed into just me tell telling my daily story whenever I make a vlog and when you're making a living from your YouTube channel or turning it into a business it's also kind of easy to fall into the trap of getting blinded off just making videos to make money. That was something that I didn't want to do. I wanted to make videos because it's fun to make videos. And now looking at this channel, I posted well over 200 videos just for the fun of it. And I'm probably gonna continue because I still think that these videos are so incredibly fun to make. The more I develop my storytelling aspect when I make my vlogs and when I make my videos here on this channel, the more I feel like I wanna create more things. And I think that, that is the kind of the charm of having this channel. And it's also like never a pressure. There's never anyone saying something that I need to say into a video. It's just me making videos because I enjoy making videos. And the difference here is that, you know, as we talked about yesterday, the, the possibility to make money from YouTube or money from sponsored videos allows me to make all the videos in between those videos that I make that is sponsored videos. If I only were to make videos just because I like to make videos, I would probably still make videos, but I wouldn't be able to do it as much. I wouldn't be able to do sort of like the extreme videos or sort of like the longer videos, such as the FPV drone. Do you know how much I spent on that video alone? While if I didn't have any sponsors, I wouldn't be able to make that video, which I thought was a fun video to make, but I did not include a sponsor into that video. This channel is where I want to kind of branch out from the camera niche, because I think that if you want to know stuff about things that I do, you know, filmmaking things and new cameras and new tech and new gadgets, then, then that is my main channel, which is awesome because I love doing those things. But here it's more like, you know, I, I just do whatever. I think is fun. And then hopefully someone sees it. You do. Like, I'm so incredibly, incredibly grateful to have you here. I can't, can't even express how grateful I am for you actually 
being on this channel, following my life, me throwing things in the trash can. But the personal development of having this channel is one of the things that baffles me because it makes me do things that I otherwise wouldn't, you know? When I started doing the trash can throws with the plastic bags, it was just one of those things like, how can I make taking out the trash fun? How can I turn that into something that is fun to do instead of just seeing it as a boring core? It's also helped me to develop my English. You know, now I feel more fluent in the English language than ever before. I don't have any sort of barriers of what I want to say or how I want to express my feelings. It feels like I'm becoming more and more natural into the whole personality and talking to the camera and all that stuff. And that that also allows me to capture the memories that I want to capture because I've talked about this a bunch of times. The value of having all those 200 videos that I've posted onto this channel together with my family, together with Alex, being able to see him grow up and him being able to see me develop throughout these videos, that is, that is priceless. To be honest, I don't see anything that can top that. And having had the possibility to actually be in the position where I could record that many videos and save those memories, I'm super grateful for it. So I'm not saying that you should go out and start a vlog channel because it's gonna make you, you know, feel relieved. But if you are a creator that is working and hustling hard, getting to your same old studio every single day, trying to come up with the best and greatest video, then having a secondary channel that doesn't put any sort of pressure on you can actually be a good thing. I mean, like, I know for a fact, I've been in this studio now for three and a half years. I, I'm getting tired of it. I don't want to be in my studio anymore. That is how I feel when I get here. But I also have all the things that I need and love in the studio. And that is why I am here every day so that I can make more videos and so that I can create videos. Having a channel that you can just express your thoughts on and do whatever you want to do without any one telling you about what you need to do, that is sick. And I love that.